Here's everything I ate in Berlin, Germany. Starting from when we first got there Thursday, we went out to this place called Hasir Burger. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And me and Esther both got the same sandwich. I think we got like the Chipotle um, chicken sandwich. Me personally, I liked everything else but the chicken. So I kind of ended up eating all the vegetables and onions and lettuce and all that stuff. Uh, the chicken was good, but sensory issues for me, it was very hard for me to eat that chicken. <laughs> so I ended up just eating the veggies, but it was good. It was okay. Next, we went to Ko Chu. Again, I hope I'm saying these names correctly. It was a Vietnamese Asian spot. And we went there with our, um, our, fr our friends and our family. And what I got was, for starters, I got a lemon, lime type of, lemonade type of thing. Um, it was so good. It had like fresh mint, fresh, like fresh everything. <laughs> it was really good. And then for my dinner, I had gotten this kind of like chicken. Uh, the chicken, like I said, it's a different tasting type of chicken. It was okay but I preferred mainly the vegetables and the rice. I did get glass noodles. The glass noodles I thought were going to come with like a sauce or whatever, they just came plain. So I dipped it in the sauce that came with my actual entree and it tasted good, but it, it yeah, it like it, could, it didn't exceed my expectation, but it could have been better. Then we stopped at this grocery store and I picked out this random ice pop. Guys, 10 out of 10, like it tasted like it came straight up from an apple. It was absolutely so refreshing and it was perfect for like a palate cleanser after eating all that chicken and Asian food. Next, the next day we went to Caraca and that's where all everybody got all their breakfast and stuff. I got a strawberry lemonade this time. So again, it came with the same usual things, fresh lemon, fresh lime, fresh mint, and it was so refreshing. It was really good. Germany, well, Berlin, specifically the area that we were in, I noticed they had a lot of like lemonades and like fruit drinks and it was all with like spritzed water. Well, we call it seltzer, but over there, you know, they say like gas or no gas type of thing. Um, and then I tried a croissant. Of course, when I'm in Europe, I always have to try me some bread. Um, and it was good. Like it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this croissant is like incredible. It was good. And I, in my head, I'm like, I should have probably asked for this warmed up instead. But other than that, it was okay. Then for lunch, I went to this place called Golden Rice. And I ordered something of like a salmon bowl with lots of veggies and rice you know, my usual thing. It smelled delicious. And I went ahead and I was tasting everything. You guys, like, it was good. The vegetables were on point. The sauce was on point. And then I went and took a little bit of the, of the salmon. This salmon was bomb. This salmon, you guys, y'all you, saw my eyes poke out, right? That's how you know it was good. It was good. And then that night we all went out um, in a big group to go get something to eat. That drink that I just showed you guys was called Hibiscus Sky. The taste was good, but it just had way too many seeds in it. And with braces and everything, it was kind of like getting a little inconvenient. I forgot what the dish is called that I got, but I tried kimchi for the first time. It tasted good. Um, and my plate altogether, just in general, it was good, except I'm just more of a naturally spicy eating person when it comes to Asian food, but that's okay. Then the next day we went out and <laughs> Clara found this Tex-Mex place in Berlin out of all places, a Tex-Mex restaurant. Um, everyone was downplaying this restaurant and I feel like I just lost my appetite at that point. Also, we were seated in an area that did not smell the greatest. Also, me and Claire are cheering because they have what they, what they call spicy ketchup. So that's what we were testing just now. And it tasted better than the regular ketchup, to be honest. So all I had was an order of fries. But besides that, the fries were good. Like fries can, people can mess up fries. So I'm not going to complain. Then we went out to the same place last night. Um, and I wanted to try something different that I've never tried before. So I tried fall. And it was actually pretty good. Could have used more flavor, but it was tasted really good. The croissant, I asked the next day to be toasted and it was bomb. And then... For lunch, we went to a buffet and I kind of tried to open my palate again a little bit more and try a little bit of everything. So this saffron rice, I believe is what they call it. 
Um, it was good. This random pasta dish that I found that looked somewhat appetizing, 10 out of 10. Tomato salad, y'all already know me. I love tomatoes. So of course, that was a 10 out of 10. Then they had bean curry. And you guys know I love curry. I love beans. 100 out of 10, y'all. And PJ just preached about the olive oil that Sunday. And I'm telling you, when I saw the olive oil and the bread, I'm like preaching to my soul because if y'all know me y'all know i love bread and y'all know i can drink olive oil like i can drink that stuff you guys i'm not kidding then late that night we went out to an actual authentic german restaurant it honestly was a disappointment it wasn't really that good could be the restaurant we chose i don't know and then we found like this we went down this alleyway and we found like all these like cute little vendors me and claire tried these berries that jaws bought <laughs> And me personally, I'm not a sour person, so it was kind of a little bit hard for me to eat, but that's okay. Then the next day, we went to this rooftop restaurant. The view was great, however, the nochi was not. I'm so sorry. But later on, I was able to replenish my palate, and we got donor. And normally, I'm not a beef eater or like a meat eater in general, but I'm telling you guys, the spicy sauce, the rice, the fresh vegetables, the tenderness of the meat, you guys, it like... It, it did its thing, okay? I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm just eating this after having a whole meltdown, y'all. After all our friends left, going back to their houses and their homes. Like, your girl was in her feelings. And then after that, we finally found a spot to get ice cream. I was basic, okay? I just got Oreo, but it tasted different over here in these parts. Like, the even the cone tasted fresh. Like, it all tasted just so much better. I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating. It was worth it. And it was only like a dollar. Okay. And then at the airport, we were waiting that morning, and it probably wasn't the best thing to eat as my throat was already feeling weird, but I'm like, I, I just, I'm gonna take it. So that ice cream was good, and then we went to Bio um, the night before to get some snacks for the plane. Those plantain chips, guys, 10 out of 10. The best food I ever had. <laughs> Please explain to me why the airplane food, like the nachi guys, was better than the nachi we had on the rooftop. 